Because when I look at the election that is forthcoming, it is going to be something that people have never experienced before. Remember, I told you here, I said, uh, watch out and pray. Because in the realm of the spirit, when I enter in the spiritual world and begin to look at what is in the kingdom of the spiritual, the Lord opened my eyes and said, this election that is coming is what is going to determine the fate of the people of this country. The fate of the people in the nation is going to be decided by this election that is coming. When I look at the spiritual world and I begin to look at the realm of the spirit and what is open in the spiritual, the Lord begin to look at and show me something and I begin to look at this thing. I see in the realm of the spirit where the people in power has taken over a lot of what is called a positioning of security personnel all over the place. And as I look at this personnel of the security personnel positioned all over the place all Abuja taking over Lagos State were positioning and they were strategized as they were busy strategizing and positioning and I see right there in the midst of the people that are positioning themselves I see something erupt up and I begin to see the eruption and when I look at this eruption I thought it was a flame of fire that is coming up and before I know it I see what's called a cue inevitable So we need to pray because when I'm speaking as a prophet of God, it's for the nation to pray and everybody to pray because uh, the injustice and so many things happening is going to cause a big problem. I see what is called a coup taking place. So this kind of a thing is something that we all, the people, stakeholders, should do the right thing that is needed at this time. Because injustice is going to provoke what is called a uh, what is called uh, this is this is what is called a, a takeover, a coup takeover, and this coup takeover is going to be very very terrible. Politicians do the right thing that you need to do now. Let peace reign. Let everybody have their peace in the country. Allow the citizens of the country to have the dividends of their democracy. Allow them to have it, so that the peace will reign, and peace will reign up and down. Stop anything called witch hunting. Because witch hunting is not going to help us. Because uh, in the realm of the spirit, whatever is written is what the major prophet will be able to look into. Uh, please, before I go, I want to say to all my viewers, sons and daughters all over the world, uh, I'm going to be available for you. When I say available for you, I mean I'm going to be available for prophecy and for spiritual counseling and for spiritual encounter. I don't know whatever may be the issue or what your need may be or what you are in need of. The prophecy line is going to be open for prophecy after the broadcast. I'm going to have time for you to prophesy and to also speak to people. If you know you have a, if you know you have a tough case that you don't know how to go about it, a tough case that has no solution, I want us to dive into it. We have done the 21 days fasting and prayer and the spiritual database has opened. God has endowed his servant with the power and authority. It is not by my making, but by the love of God. He has endowed me, the prophet God, with what is called the, 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 the supernatural power to prophesy what is written in the realm of the spirit. So I make the prophecy line available. The line for the prophecy is called plus 23480. Three four two two five eight six six. This line will be available after the or, uh, online program, and I will entertain what is called uh, tough cases in people's life. A young man was flown all the way from uh, 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 UAE, Arab Emirates, yesterday, and brought in here. When I look at this young man, what I heard and what they told me is that the Dubai's uh, authority, especially the hospital in Dubai, has looked at his case and they said, this is liver cancer. And they said, there's no way they can handle it over there. That is, he should go back to Nigeria. And the going back to Nigeria means go and die. But when he stepped in here yesterday, the Lord said, no, this case is not over until God says it is over. And because God has not said it is over, God stepped into it yesterday. As I'm talking to you now, God has taken over. The young man is in the church. And by the grace of God, the power of God is touching him. And the hand of the Lord is touching him. Before we know it, God is going to deliver the young man. 
and he will be free indeed. And the Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, he said, the person shall be free indeed. The Lord has taken over the battle and he will no more fight in this battle because the battle belongs to God. When God takes over battle, he knows where it's called the war front. He knows the backyard of the war. He knows everything about the war and he knows how to fight the battle. So the young man is already in the church. And by the grace of God, we have already commenced the prayer, the healing school, and everything. Because God called the major prophet of God with all. That's nothing that God called and left me behind. When it comes to the prophetic, God has given it to me. When it comes to singing and praising the Lord, I know God has given me the voice to sing. And when it comes to what is called healing school, I'm a prophetic doctor and also a doctor. Not just a doctor, but the doctor that is beyond the other doctors. As a prophet of God, God has endowed me with a lot of things. And so, God is going to remedy every case. So, I want you, wherever you are, the moment I go offline, 30 minutes later, I will be available to attend to as many that are ready to quickly uh, uh, communicate me that case that is tough, that issue you don't know what to do. Let us ponder over it. Let us look into it and see the alternatives. That's what is called alternative, alternative, spiritual alternative. And the spiritual alternative is not a waste. Spiritual alternative is available to give solution to them that believe. The Bible says to them that believe, nothing shall be impossible because God is the God of all possibility. May the Lord bless you all and continue to favor you in the name of Jesus. I release the hand of the Lord and I declare the month of February, the month of your blessing the month of your testimony, the month of your miracle, the month of your favor, the month of your progress, the month of your going out and coming in with blessings, the month you will sow and you will reap, the month you will go out there and God will enlarge your coast, the month that you will not cry, the month you will receive what belongs to you. You that is praying for the fruit of the womb, carry your baby from now to December, you will have that baby in your hand. You that is crying and praying for financial breakthrough from now to the end of March and month of June, you are going to breakthrough and nothing will stop you and as God is blessing you don't forget glorious mount of possibility don't forget your major prophet of God we are together in this battle to win the battle as we win the battle let us also celebrate it together and God will continue to bless you all in Jesus name please tomorrow I am coming with what is called the shocking prophecies and by tomorrow and next tomorrow I'm going to give you the opportunity to call me so that I can prophesy to you one on one. But I'm going to do offline prophecy the moment I am done. So people can call me with a prophecy line and I'll prophesy to them. And at the end of it all, testimony will fill your mouth in Jesus' name. Thank you for being part of this program. The Lord loves you so much. And I, the major prophet of God, I am praying for you. And I know that everything you are asking of the Lord has already been given to you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Now, listen to me. Please. This year is a very special year. Anytime you come online with me, the moment I am done with the online, always try to sow a seed, to give offering, to give something towards this program. You are the one to uphold the TV program, the channels, and everything we are doing. For anyone that want to make a seed towards the church, your seed for the year, your first food for the year, you are tied for the year. You are giving for the work of God. Whatever you want to do for the house of God, don't forget we have the account. You want to you know, be part of this seed sowing in the ministry. The account of Naira account, access account, you can use it to you know, be whatever you want to do for the church. And also, if you are overseas or you are abroad, you want to be part of what we are doing. You want to do it in USD, in uh, uh, foreign currency, send wave, or what is called a, a, a word remit, or whichever word that you want to send, the dollar account is available here. Use it, and God will surely bless you. Remember, the blessings of God make it rich and add no sorrow. My prayer for you is that God will continue to lift you up and set to you and give you all your expectation. Everything that has gone wrong in your life is going to automatically turn around for your good. And at the end of it all, testimony will never cease in your mouth. Jesus precious name I pray. Thank you for being part of this program. Thank you for your seed. Thank you for your offering. Thank you for your first fruit. Thank you for connecting with the major prophet of God. And my God will surprise you and give you every expectation 
of your heart and your life will never ever remain the same in Jesus name I pray amen <laughs> Thank you.